Ladies and gentlemen. Arknights has finished their third anniversary livestream. Since it's an anniversary, there's a lot of stuff we will get. So now, I will give a summary of the livestream. And giving you more info of Arknights next event content like always. So without further ado, let's get started. Arknights next event that is scheduled to be released in January 13th. Is Ideal City, Carnival and Endless Summer. Ah yes, summer themed event in the middle of a winter. And for the first time in Arknight's story, we will visit the underground city of the... Durin. Ideal City is actually not an anniversary event in CN server. And Global Server have rescheduled quite a number of events for this. Either way, let's see the new content in this event. First let's see the new operators. Ideal City will feature a limited banner. Limited banner have a different pity from standard banner. And once the event ended, your accumulated pools will be converted into shop currency. To exchange for these sweet materials. If you have accumulated 75 pulls, you can buy the new 5 star operator from the shop. And 300 pulls for one of the featured 6 star in the banner. And like all limited banner, there will be a free daily pull. Okay. The limited 6 star and the altar is Garviel, the invincible. Garviel altar is a 6 star centurion guard. An awesome DPS and nuka unit, that also has an amazing damage tolerance. Anyway, I'll talk more about the new operators in a different video. So let's move on. Then the other standard 6 star featured in this banner is Posey Armka. Another 6 star heavy shooter sniper in the game. She is an amazing damage dealer. That has the unique ability to summon a crossbow turret in the field. And can reduce enemy defense and deal massive damage to the enemy. Besides them, another limited altar, Moist Chen. Will also be available in the banner as a rate off character. Or you can buy her from the shop if you have 300 pulls ready. Then for the new 5 star featured in the banner, we have Cantabile. Cantabile has a new vanguard archetype called Agent. Basically a fast redeploy vanguard, with an extended range like an instructor guard. And have a unique way to gain DP. As for the welfare unit, we have 5 star mecha cord caster minimalist. Surprisingly the only Durin operator in this event. With his talent he has a certain chance to deal critical damage. Now for the skin section. We got new coral coast skins in this event. First is a skin for La Pluma. Besides being a bartender, La Pluma also becomes a lifeguard in this skin. Then a second skin for Elysium. Never forget to bring that iconic kettle. After some unpleasant things in Grand Pharaoh, he certainly deserves a break. Then a life 2D skin for Serta. Funny enough this will turn her flame effects into water. Boiling hot water I suppose. And I'm surprised despite her giant always making appearances in game. It is considered not canon in the story, or at least not yet. Then a skin for a Bertha. This skin is a reward that you can get from playing a new seasonal mode, that I will talk later. It's a gorgeous skin, but sadly she won't do it E-pose while in the base. Besides new skins, the following Coral Coast skins will also get a rerun. As well as Rhodes Island Fashion Review. So there's more rerun skins that are available. Now for the event mechanic and enemies. Remember the Romba from Stulta for an Arvis event? This is him now. In this event you can create your own car. You can select a certain part for your new vehicle. Each part will give the car a certain effect to harm the enemy or support allies. Like stunning the enemy, explode upon impact with the wall. Giving SP or attack boost to your ops while passing them, etc. The car part option is quite a lot, it even became some sort of collectible. You can obtain a different part from completing a certain task. From gacha, or from the mini games in the event. There will be a place where you have to choose which car is the best, between two random players. 
there's a chance to get a random piece of the same part as the one you choose. And it's stated the game will prioritize giving you a car part that you haven't acquired. You can then use your car in the stage to run over the enemies. Unlike the Romba your car can only be spawned from a certain point. It takes 3 dp to summon your car, and there's a cooldown. The car will move in a straight lane, but you can turn its direction by using this device. And the car will be destroyed if it hits a wall, a ranged tile, or a certain enemy. And when talking about the enemies. First, we got the alcoholic Mario. A normal enemy that has a pretty high res. But this enemy will have 100% physical dodge. Starting from the very first time they spawn, lasting for 20 seconds. Then we got a lifeguard that turned their attention to boxing. Have a weak attack but quick attack interval. And once their HP falls below 50%. They will also have 100% physical dodge for 10 seconds. Then a sand castle builder. They deal large damage, and have an incredibly long range. Then a volleyball machine. Pay attention to their type, as this will be related to other enemies. Volleyball machine will increase its physical attack on each attack. Their attack value can be reset if they got hit by negative statuses. Bind, levitation and silence. Then there's an ATV. This thing can only be blocked by a unit with 3 block count. To make matter worse, when the ATV drives into a non-machine or non-boss, they will pick them up as a passenger. When you defeated an ATV with a passenger on it, the passenger will bail out, and continue moving to the blue box. Then a surfing instructor machine that can't even float. Greatly reduced physical and arts damage taken when not blocked. And can instantly destroy your car upon impact. Then my favorite, a freaking sobrita. That will sober you up by dealing physical trauma. This machine is a melee unit that works similarly to a sarcas blade weaver. They will slowly move to the blue box. But if you hit them, they will double their movement speed. And increase their attack speed. If there's one, make sure to prepare your tankiest bloker. Or just defeat them with a ranged unit. Now for the boss, we actually fighting Minimalist and his drone. Probably one of the most difficult boss mechanics in the game. Especially if you don't build your ranged operators. But quite easy to defeat if you have a strong ranged unit like Chen Alter. Or the new sniper Posey Armka can make a quick work to defeat the boss with her S3. Well as long as you can control its stun you are pretty much fine. This boss will increase all machine type enemy attack by 20%. It has a barrier that absorbs physical and arts damage. And make all enemies around it invisible. It has a couple of ways to attack. First, it attacks by deploying a small drone to a certain unit. Then a red artillery attack. It will lock a unit with most other units deployed around them. And continuously strike that area with an AoE arts damage. Then for the yellow stun attack. It will lock a unit with most other units deployed around them. And continuously stun the targets in that yellow area. Once the drone is defeated it will drop Minimalist who is stunned for some time. After Minimalist recovered from the stun. He will move to the blue box following the same pattern as the drone. He won't attack and is unblockable, but quite weak. Ideal City is a big event and you can get 37 PO from clearing the event stages. Like always, farm event stages, get event currency. And exchange them for items in the event shop. And these are the farmable tier 3 materials in the event. Then about the new seasonal event. Trials for Navigator. It's a seasonal mode like a CC event. This new event is pretty straightforward. As this is pretty much a boss rush mode. You clear one area with a boss. And proceed to the next area. And the main reward is none other than Roberta's skin. Okay. There will be a new module for Hookmaster and Ambusher Specialist. A module for Posey Armka, and a second module for Fartooth and Spectral. There will be a new login event. New operator record and paradox simulation. New furniture, new medals. Free 5 star operator Savage, or her potential to those who already have her. 
New lobby background with a Lungman night theme. A free 10 times pull ticket will be given. Free daily or random. A skin voucher will be given to those who own 4 star Garveal skin. A 5 star voucher will be given for free to recruit the following operators. This 3 will be added to the recruitment. Some new in game packs. First purchase reset. And of course a lot of physical merchandise. And look, discount. Also, in JP server they announce those who bought the Blu-ray of Ark Knights anime. Will receive a special redeem code and obtain the following items. And also extra exclusive skin. This is the second time she gets an exclusive skin. And by the time this video is written. Ark Knights and server haven't announced anything about this. So this could be Ark Knights JP exclusive. Okay, I think that's all the important stuff from the live stream. Grab your random ladies and gentlemen. We got a Brazilian alligator and a pink wolf to gacha. That should be all. Adios.